Hello, today we're gonna figure out how to make classes in Lua. Biggest thing you wanna know is that Lua doesn't have a class keyword. This is just normal text causing an error. So how do we make classes? Well, the answer is a little complicated, but I'll walk you through it right now. So first, we need to figure out how we do it. And this is actually very simple. You need to use meta tables, which are tables that have a self which means that they're a different instance from their parent table. And then you also need to use meta functions, which are functions that run with that self. So first, in order to make your class, or I'll call it meta table, you need to make a normal table. So local class equals a table. But now in the table, you need to put all the properties you'll want, such as a equals a, b, and C. You need to put default values here or else it'll sometimes cause some errors because of nil. And now this is still isn't enough. We need to make our meta table and give it to a variable so it can call meta functions in there. So we'll do function class.new. You can change this new to anything you want. You put all your parameters here, so A, B, and C for me. You have this end. Now you need to get the local self. So local self equals, now you need the set the meta table. So set meta table, meta table, if I can type. You put an empty table here. If you, So you'll put a, not an empty table here if you want inheritance. And then here you'll put class, which is the name of it the name of this variable over here. So this is set on the local self to the meta table, and it's not inheriting anything. So then you'll do, you can set properties like self.a equals a, self.b equals b, and self.c equals c. Then you need to return self. This is just so things can actually use this, and it's not just creating an object for us not to use it. And now, we can actually make a class. So local instance equals class.new one, three, five. And if I print instance.a, if I print instance.a, and now I do lua main.lua, as you see, it printed out one. If I do instance.c, uh, when I run this command, it prints out five. So now it correctly has this, but what if I want a function that will add every single one of these properties together and return it? So f the way you would do that is function class colon, not a dot here, because if you notice here, there's a dot. That is necessary to be a dot. And here, this is necessary to be a colon. This colon means it's a meta function or meta method. I've been saying meta function is actually meta method a meta method, so it'll pass self in automatically and you don't need to do, do anything with that. Function class colon add, uh, no parameters. So then here, you, you want to return self.a plus self.b plus self.c. So now if I do pre print instance.add, when you're defining it, it's a colon. When you're using it, it's also a colon. But if you're defining it with a dot, it's a good dot. But now if I do this, as you see, there's an error. It doesn't know what this method here is. And the reason for that is we need to add in what I call an indexer function. It's so it can actually find this meta method in the class. So function class dot underscore underscore index, you put in there's a table and a key. Easiest thing to do is return your class at key, just like that, and end. Since class is the name of my class, probably could have chosen something that's confusing. Anyway, so now if I run this, as you see, it works. Nine, which is four plus five, or one plus three plus five. So here, as you can see, you can make a uh, class that, just like this. Now, what if you want inheritance? Inheritance is also very important if you want any sort of 
uh, uh, normal traditional class system. So first thing you need to do, first thing I'm going to do is just hide all these functions since you already know what's in them. So now you need to make local class two equals class and then you need to do class two dot d equals seven. So then function class class two dot new a b c d you make the local self again which is required self dot a equals a self dot b equals b self dot c equals c self dot d equals d return, return self end so now if i do class two here and i put a six there as you see it still returns nine but it doesn't return an error it's because if we want it to add we need to overwrite this add method so function class two dot not dot colon add return self dot a plus self dot b plus self dot c plus self dot d and now this should print out 15 which it does and you can also add a new method such as function class two dot colon sub not dot sub return so I'll have to just this, uh, man, that's useful. Um, if now if I do sub here, this should print one minus three, negative two, minus five, negative seven, minus six, which will turn into negative 13. And there you go. That's how you do classes in Lua. And if you have any questions, I'll leave a link to my Discord server in the description. You can join it and ask any questions. See ya.